All right, tonight we're working on the Takagi Yoshin Ryu. Remember, this is a classical class we do every single week here to honor the tradition, to study it, to pull the principles from these old techniques and scrolls from the nine lineages. We do not do these techniques in our regular classes because uh, many of these principles don't quite apply to modern day American fights. So what we film here is just a small portion, yet you never ever disrespect the katas and throw them in the notebook and never look at them. Say, oh, that's no good, or I have that one. Uh, let's just work on boxing defenses tonight. Because generation after generation, these warriors, male and female both, went into battle for hundreds of years and wrote these down for our benefit. They were for the future, not just for them to keep alive, but th they said these principles, these techniques have worked for us in full on battle, not sport where there's rules and regulations and a, and a referee. No, I was on the battlefield and two men came at me with long swords and I moved this way and that way and I survived. And I wrote this down as soon as I got home because this saved my life and it may save yours. And then they gave this to their sons and daughters, etc. Tonight we're working from Seiza, which is the traditional seat of the Far East. And they still sit this way as in India. In America, we do not sit this way much. So this is uncomfortable for most people. Most people out there don't sit this way ever. But for tonight, you're going to go up on your toes. So do that with me and rise up and sit on your heels. The Takagi style. This is way more uncomfortable for most because it crushes your toes. Don't lean forward. You want to put your weight on your heels. Even if it's painful, by the end of this hour, it'll be way more comfortable. We sit this way to be higher up so we can rise quicker. Our hakama will cover this. But this is the traditional seat of the bodyguard of the castle. And they would sit this way for hours. So again, in this style, we are honoring the tradition but some of this would not be practical in modern day America. And I realize that, and you guys know that when you train tonight. This is a historical lesson. It's not necessarily always applicable to what's out there today, okay? Again, our job is to pull the kaname, the principles out of these techniques and adapt and evolve them to modern fighting. From there, grab lightly their uniform and hold, rise. They're still down low. My hand is here, because I'm gonna go for Gyaku in a second. But before that, I wanna soften them with a kick to the groin, the stomach, the face, chest, doesn't matter. I rotate and take them down in several directions. Depends on where they're, after you kick them, their body's gonna move. I could go backwards, forwards, in a rotation and I plant them on their chest. Well, when they wrote these scrolls down, that was the first one, and then the second one was, hey, if the guy, if we're defending from the inside, now what if we go outside their attack? One is Uda, one is Omote, and a lot of these scrolls go back and forth. This one, instead of a grab, is a punch. So you don't actually allow them to get a purchase on your gi, you go a little early. You see the punch coming, because they're rising up to hit you, and you preempt it. That's the first mental movement, okay? Mr. Danes is here. We are both in this Takagi style, a few meters apart. I know that if, if I see his tandem rising, I know, he, I, I can sense the danger. And then if he posts and goes to punch, I can, that's a lot of movement on his part. So you had kind of an advantage with this distance here. Last week as he came and I kind of went here and it stayed on the inside. What if I go to the outside? The attacks, I go left here. I go left post. Everyone posts in your left leg. I go outside the attack, out here. Better place, it's safer. It's much safer than being inside. The attacks from here, I see it, oh, I move this offline. As I deflect this, I grab it as quick as I can before he retracts. Remember, you're in armor, you're in yoroi. So if you're in armor, everything's slower, it's bigger, it's heavier. It's not like a boxing match. 
He punches with his armor. We have to both move quickly with our armor. The legs are here, parallel this way. As I grab this, I pull it down slightly to open his face up. This is all, this is all in milliseconds. As this hand comes across, I like to hit them gently with some sort of strike. Boom. And then his arm is here. Could you please switch sides, sir? Yes, sir. I rise up, catch, hit here. Once I've struck him, I'm gonna start the control process. I've damaged him, my thumb goes in his gi, his kimono here. Thumb down, honjime, thumb up, yakujime. Shime means pressure. It can also mean a tie or to bind, as in shime nawa, to a binding rope here. This goes across his throat, it's a split second. You've hit him and taken control of him in two places. Three places, one, two, and the leg is three. Do not go farther than this yet. Don't take them anyway. Know that the punch is here. Always know where their weapons are. Could have a sword on them, many things. Our kamai is this, okay? The deeper the thumb, the better. It shouldn't be down here. It's gotta go deep, almost beyond his neck here. <laughs> so that this goes right across his throat, or hers. Try that out. You're saying that as I go here, what? If you're coming in, so I can put the choke in? can't. He doesn't have the hand to His hand is there. It's not written in the scroll. The scroll is all pre-arranged bites. And half the time when I'm reading these, I'm like, that makes no sense, or I consult other teachers, why, why, what if this happens? But in a fight, there's no time to be thinking, ah, the scroll said here and you're in the way, can you move that please? So what would you guys do? Well, you have to remember, we were talking over here that the hit to the face isn't in the scroll either. It just says grab. But I almost hit his face before I grab. I'll show you the difference. One is grab, hit, and try to move in. Can't get him. It's not terrible, like I'm not fully in. The next one from here is this. I move deeply. Mm. Now if his hand is there, if I hit deeply enough, his hand is right there. I go beyond his hand to this position. In other words, I went through his hand with my intention. So his hand is still there, still there, okay? But that's a good, good question. If his hand is here, say, you know, I, I just, just, I skim it, I just go for something else, his head to take the balance because his head's not covered everywhere. Can you remove your glasses for safety? So put your hand right in front of your face so I cannot choke. I'm here, look at his hand, but watch this. I'm still moving in to get him. It's not a choke. It's a manipulation, but it still works. Ichi, knee, here. Grab whatever you can. Use your left knee to bump his. Overthrow him downward to the ground here. He falls, do not let this grip go. I still have a choke. He's choking right now. This hand, watch where it goes onto your shin. Now the kaeshi comes in. Kaeshi is to reverse, reversal. Do, which is the first part of the kata, do means torso or body, but it's actually this part. So I'm gonna overturn his body here using this as a fulcrum. This is a teko shiten. Teko is the lever, the lever and shiten means fulcrum. So teko shiten is the kanami of this. You see the seesaw here. Your, relax, your leg is the fulcrum. Then this is the leverage I apply to break his arm here. You see it? Fulcrum. Now there's two ways of doing it. I can hold Matthias here with this choke and just put my knee forward and try to snap his elbow. That's actually quite powerful. 
But in this case, I'm going to pull him around my leg, holding the choke. He's still choking. He goes to his belly, and I hold and choke him out. So he goes to sleep about 10 seconds. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go. I'm letting go for Matias. This is a Jime choke with his own gi as I break his arm here. Notice this one on my right thigh. I want space here so that this breaks his elbow. An ure ori. This is Norcross. What if the choke comes out? You still have full control here with Takagi. Full control. Takagi is about controlling the opponent so that they cannot move. Protect the king, protect the queen. Do you understand? Punch. There, again. <laughs> it's a lot of time here. Ichi, the, sa, shi. There's right there's a break. Choking here, overthrow. Notice the, that's the stature. See his face turning red. Now if I add this down here, it's vicious. Okay. Again, even without that, I can still maintain control. The type, different type of jime is going from behind. <laughs> Takeori here as well. A lot of stuff happening. This is the original jujitsu. Way hundreds of years before MMA. This is where it comes from. This is the roots of the tree. Is this? Good question, Joel. What was your question? Um, sometimes when they like make the pose, like if, if they're not like like at a perfect 90 degree angle, I mean, what if they're like you know, angled off to the side when they... So he does this, much, like if how am I going to go outside of that? You can't. Off. You have to adapt. Get a little closer, you're a bit too far, right there. So if he hits and goes inside, I have to, uh, here, I have to stay inside. I can't, I can't do this mm -hmm. in the amount of time allotted, it's junk. So stay inside. That's why Kasumi from last week was the first kata. Kasumi assumes you're either going to be inside or outside the attack. And then the next one is when I, they kick me. That's the third. And then the fourth is if I rise up. So you go into Karame Dori, which is number three. Then Kyoto, which is number four. They all have a stacking pattern how you learn. It's like uh, pieces of a puzzle. I can't see what's happening. I need one piece at a time. This is piece two. So I have to go back to piece one from last week. He's forcing me to by his uh, attack. If he's here, I have to stay inside. Hit me right in the face. Here, moving inside. Same as last week. I can't Kasumi, but I'm in the pose of Kasumi here. But in order for me to do the Gaeshi, I can still reach for the choke. I can't get this much, but I don't need it. I still have the leg here. And right here's the choke or muso, there's a million things you can do. He didn't know that was coming, but he fell. One of the translations of this is to throw them back to hell. It's kind of a cool name, depending on how you manipulate the kanji. And again, it also means to overthrow. I like the kanji meaning, which is uh, to tie together. So I'm inside, he posts awkwardly. Here, now look at this position, he's ter a terrible position. He might go to punch me with that. Do give me some energy. Here, I mean, look at the position we're in. It's very bad for him. I still have full control. Watch his leg. You see, it's here now. It's reversed. See his arm? Another gyaku. This lock. I lost a choke. Can you see it, Viba? Lost the choke. What do I do? Make your own. Or use this side of his gi as you push his head the opposite direction. The gi works like a V shape. Come over here. Relax. If he's back up, don't give up. I can't choke him here. So you go to this side and push his neck away against it. Yeah. This way. Or like I said, create your own. Here's that arm bar here. If he goes to punch, that's not a punch. Hit me. Want yeah, and then we go back to the original here. And he's on his arm. You can't tap, can you? 
Takagi is about controlling the opponent. It's not about muscle or speed, it's about control. You okay? Yes, sir. He's not in a good position because he can't tap. Come on. Pow! We hit. We did the one that Mr. Norcross showed. We take him down. Notice the leg here. I'm seeing a lot of other, the, the students are trying to get the arm bar like this. It's not hurting Joel at all. So you're here, you have the choke. You want your, your knee to be, you started here at a 40 or a 90, you want to take it back almost to 45, and that makes the fulcrum that Mr. Norcross was talking about earlier. It'll go every time. Okay? Really important, even the way that we start with our legs and then just change that leg is so, so important. Are we remembering this from last week? Did you see my leg? The Medusa tail that Mr. Norcross talked about? So we're not here. My balance isn't so great here. Here my balance is strong mm. to take the bad guy down. Here we're almost equal. He's strong. It all makes a difference. So think of your right leg in this case is gonna make sure you follow. 90, like a perfect box here, a square. And then when, the, when you take the person down, watch this leg just falls back a little bit for the fulcrum, okay? When I take him to the ground here, he said what? Uh, Aren't they gonna try to do what? They would try to sit up. That's try to get out of it. They try to fight back. They're not gonna sit here. And he said, isn't the idea that when they sit up, you use this Teko Ten here as a fulcrum. He's right. So if I have Ray here, he's gonna sit up and get out of it. And that's when you rotate them. And my answer to Ray was that is perfectly correct. You, you allow him, when he goes to his back, you allow him to overturn himself, to reverse. But I said to him, this school's mentality is this. This school's mentality is control. And once I'm, he's on the ground, I don't care whether he rolls or not. I want him to roll here, and I make him roll. See the control here? This is Takagi. But for now, the timing will be this. When Mr. Arzler hits the ground from here, he's going to get up, then take it from here and apply it. <laughs> Sorry. As soon as your back goes here, sit up and try to get out of it. Reverse them without breaking their elbow. I went fast with Ray because he's tough. Hi. Okay. Don't go that fast. Go. We move in, we hit, we knock him down. If I get to this position using this, and he falls, and I can choke him, but if I get to here and he sits up, but I lose this. Look at where my hand is. Can you see how it never moved? I cross this way and create a choke. So this is suwari, suwari sitting choke. In other words, this one can't work, doesn't work. So I go to the rear. You notice my left hand is here. What are the two types? You have thumb in and thumb out. Honjime, gyakujime. Both work, because as long as I have across his throat, both of these will work. Palm up, though, I can roll this. If I roll it, it's worse. This one, I can roll the opposite way. You feel how these have a different effect? Yes, sir. This roll is a blood choke, goes across the carotid on the side of his neck. This one is an air choke. Both work, I'm gonna have you try them both. So at this point, you're gonna lose that. Take your right arm and cross over here, grabbing his gi. And now my right arm is going to push his head forward into the choke. So this, relax. This is still here. I'm here. This goes across, Jumonji, grabbing his gi and pushing. Is his face turning different colors, William? Yes, sir. So we were here. Thumb down works the same. I get to this point. He sits up to get out. I lose it. Move here. Look at this motion. Sorry, it's You're tight. High. It's worse than all the others. Suari mm jime. -hmm. This is where this UFC stuff comes from, is the root here. Why didn't this work? 
Not it's not here. It had to be in front first, then the rest works, okay? Understand the movement. So Karas is dropping his chin to foil the choke. See? And it, his jaw is quite strong, so Joel cannot get the, the, uh, the gi into his neck. It's in his chin. What would you guys do? Give up, right? Run home to Mother Takagi. If we're here, and he puts his chin down, so I, I can't get this choke. And they do this in UFC all the time. It's, it's powerful. Should I give up? Yes, no. I can still do this here. He's burying his chin. I can come this way and do a pain choke here. Feel that? I'm using, in other words, I abandon it. It's not working. Abandon and move to the other side because he doesn't know where my arms are. In a millisecond, it's, he butt bury your chin. Or he's so strong, I just come here and use my, grind my bone into his nose to crush him. That's another compliance. Called a Tommy Jime, they're all there. It's chin berries. I still have things I can do. Why wouldn't you be hitting? Ch if choking doesn't work, hit! Drive his eye in. Do many things, take his sword out, it doesn't matter. If they foil your technique, don't waste a millisecond worrying about it. You have to adapt on the fly. That's what practice is. You can tell how good someone is as far as mat time if they hesitate. They're like this, and they're like, uh, they're using this. But if you train, you'll do stuff. Didn't we talk about that in the weapons class with Ray foiling the pain compliance to his arms? Yeah. He just moved right into strikes. Yeah. So. That's why Budo has chokes, kicks, ground offenses, strikes, eye jabs, dirty fighting, because you need many tools in your belt. If you can't, the hammer doesn't work, you have to go with the screwdriver. Can I ask you to take your gi top off with just your t-shirt, because people don't wear, unless it's winter, you're not gonna have a jacket. So with a shirt on, you're not gonna get these chokes, or if I do, it's gonna ruin a shirt. But if he's, any type of straight attack, doesn't work with hooks, although, yes it does, but it's inside. Maybe he's shoving, it's a modern fight. At some point I go outside of his attack, and then I'll, I'll try to, Keep the kata where it is. Don't put your hands on it. I said no. So let's notice my position. Now he doesn't have a, he has a t-shirt on, so I can't choke him here. But I can grab his meat here. Do you feel the pain? Yes, sir. Grab the muscle. What's the muscle here called? Traps. Traps for short. Grabbing the traps here. I'm still here. He can retract. Yeah, he can pull back. You know, he's not gonna sit there like Frankenstein. <laughs> But the point is, is I'm here. He retract, yeah. Notice where I am though. The pressure, the shime, which is not just choke, it's pressure. The pressure is still on his balance. It's not a choke, it's a balance taker. But the doji me, this torso overthrow from here is still gonna work. It still works. He goes to punch or sit up, it's still here. It's just a different form. Again, the pushes come in. Don't! I said no, here. This is Dolgaeshi. Still, can choke him from here. He sits up, I go with him. I can take him back again. I'm in control, he punches from here. This position. Okay, he sits up. It's Dolgaeshi, full control. This is Takagi, okay? If he's taller, arm go down. Take his arm down. See the dogaishi still here. Okay. That's it. Let's line up.